Stand, hand up, okay. very back to our left. Thank you. Hey, Lamar, Mark Larson, Spectrum News, Syracuse. Uh, just wondering what you had in mind for an encore this year. Say it again? What do you have in mind for an encore? How can you possibly improve on last year? Um, well, you know, start off with, you know, giving my all. You know, we start with Purdue. And um, each and every game, we're going to go out there and try to get a victory. You know, I'm trying to win more games than last year. And the biggest goal is the national championship. We're going to have a question right here in our front. Lamar, to your right. Lamar, Dan Satora, wakeupcalldt.com. Just to speak on some of the guys that you think have stepped up at running back and at wide receiver, knowing that you had some guys move forward from their eligibility, just what you can say about some of the weapons this year. Um, well, I'm going to start off with Reggie Bonifon, um, number seven. You know, he played all type of positions, running back, uh, quarterback, receiver. You know, he's he just a freakish athlete. I'm gonna start, um, you know, he do a tremendous job, but, you know, being a coach, um, get in the position and try to be the best at it. Uh, Jalen Smith, you know, uh, wide out, number nine. Um, another tremendous guy coming back for me. Um, can't wait to see him out there. It's, it's a lot of receivers we have. You know, I can't name them all, but you have to see for yourself. <laughs> Lamar, Tom Shanahan from FanRag Sports. Last year here, I remember you talked about being nervous about being one of the two guys that Coach picked to come. wonder if you could talk about how you've gotten used to dealing with the media and how maybe you've learned not to let that uh, hurt your play on the field. And, and how do you feel about being here this year? Uh, well, you know, last year, you know, that's my first time being in front of you guys. Uh, I was kind of nervous. Um, was kind of nervous this year too, but you know we got to get get through it. Gonna be here all day, and I'm loving it now. Uh, see smiles on you guys' faces. It's good. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Lamar, your last question will come to our left, sir. If you'll please stand. All right. Uh, Lamar, Paul Woody, Richmond Times Dispatch, Richmond, Virginia. When you're the defending reigning Heisman Trophy candidate, does it remove pressure because you don't have to win it? Uh, prove that you win, need to win it again? Does it add pressure because you have to live up to that standard? Uh, and do you feel like teams are going to be revved up to play against the Heisman Trophy winning quarterback? Oh, uh, well, you know, you know, I don't really worry about it. You know, it's done, have it. Um, I'm going to every game, you know, trying to win it. You know, I'm not worried about the Heisman Trophy or uh, anything like that. You know, I wasn't trying to win it last year. You know, it happened, you know, my teammates helped me out, you know, my coaches helped me out, and, you know, I'm just blessed and I'm humble. Lamar, thank you. In the interest of time, we'll bring